Later that same day in the afternoon, Michael checks his phone. He gets a text saying, congratulations, you have an appointment. Hi, welcome back. Um, I feel like I've not been in the back for a little bit. Last week was episode 29 of What Everyone Is Wearing in New York. Love that episode. Very unusual one. It has a twist to it. If you've seen it, you know what that twist is because it's not like how I usually shoot in terms of who I shot. If you've not seen it, I'm going to link that video for you below to check it out. So today um, I'm going to do a video on the recent trip that Michael and I did to France. Not the vlog because the vlog is coming, but um, that takes time to edit, so that's not ready yet. But I thought ahead of that, I'm gonna show you some of the pieces that I brought with me and I wore a lot while I was there. Plus, I'm gonna show you the pieces that I picked up while I was there. One of the things that arrived, and it came literally after I had just left to go to France, I probably would have packed this hat for one of two things. And this is by Drew House. Now, I love baseball caps. You know how I have the black one with a smiley face? So this one reminds me exactly of that in a way. So, and except it's in yellow, which I love. It looks like I love yellow anyway. So this is by, like I said, this is from Drew House. Now Drew House is a community that is basically a safe haven or a safe place that promotes uh, inclusivity, kindness, and community. A place where you can be yourself and just feel loved and feel encouraged to just be who you are and do what you want. And I've always, I think that's a really important cause to back and feel valued. So I think these kind of community building um, organizations are really really important and for the first time Drew House has partnered with Essence and they're sold now exclusively on Essence and I'm a shopper on Essence and I love them and the fact that they're, they're now partnered with Essence and they're available to buy on their website is fantastic and I also got from Drew House these slippers which are fantastic these Bosey slippers which I think are absolutely adorable I love the color of them so these are great because now I'm back I can definitely wear them like when I'm sitting down with a cup of tea or a cup of tonic water yes I drink a tonic water a lot just tonic all by itself so comfy and it just looks so cute on the feet so yeah so I'm really happy to have these it just says Drew on the front this hat is perfect for me as you know I love wearing baseball caps like I said the design on the emblem of this really reminds me of the black one that I wear constantly and had it for like a year so to have this one in yellow is brilliant but yeah so it was great just to get these two pieces i wish i had this before i left and this is the first time that drew house is partnering with a global organization to expand their distribution thumbs up to that i think that is a really good um organization to back and to be a part of and i'm proud to have partnered with drew house side note drew house was founded in 2018 by justin bieber and ryan good had no idea anyway random fact all right, so the rest of the video on the things that I packed with me to go to France and what I picked up whilst I was there. Oh, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go stuck right in. All right, here we go. Okay, so the pieces that I brought with me, I'm gonna go in no particular order. I'm gonna show a combination of, like I said, what I brought and what I wore a lot and what I bought when I was there. One of the things is, actually I got a mix of both on me. This is one of the things that I picked up. So first off we went to uh, Paris and then we went to the south of France. We took a train from Paris to there and it's about a six, six hour, seven, six, I forget. It's a few hours on the train, but it's worth it because you just put your feet up and you just enjoy the scenery, have a bite to eat, you know, work on your laptop, whatever and you're not driving. So it was perfect and I'm really glad that we did that and it was recommended, so I'm really glad. Anyway, so one of the things I picked up when we were in the south of France, and it was from Saint-Tropez, we stumbled across, across this small shop and we went, it was in Saint-Tropez, small no-name shop, and they had nothing but linen in there. And I love that. I love wearing linen um, and linen shirts especially. So I got two shirts and I think Michael got a shirt and I think you got a pair of shorts, a pair of linen shorts and linen sh uh, button down shirt. And I picked up a couple of shirts. These are from the men's section, no shocker. So it's a full length, full sleeved. I'm just wearing like this because it's hot as balls. We have no AC right now, by the way. Um, I've got the ceiling fan going at its maximum. And what else? Hoping to have AC in a couple of weeks. But I bought this shirt, gorgeous, like sky blue color was really nice I just wear it like uncuffed or I just wear it done up just like you know just fold it up so it's nice and loose and really easy um, and what I like is that here it has like hidden buttons that keeps the collar down which is really cool the other color I picked up which is right here off camera 
by the way the reason i'm shooting at this angle with all of this this showing here is because um we're doing a lot of renovations at the moment um i'm going to do a full video it's probably going to be a couple but until then the place is literally upside down it's literally like stranger things we're living in the upside down world but in here my previous um background that you used to see in all my youtube videos it's completely covered at the moment the other shirt that i picked up is this lime really bright colored shirt color it's like a kind of like a how do you describe it like a lime green like a neon 100% linen again with the hidden buttons to keep the collar down if, if you want then I'm um, also happen to be wearing one of the things that I bought from New York and brought with me which are these shorts I bought them with the intention to wear not only in New York now that we're back but also I bought them with the intention to wear when we went away I wanted um, a very simple kind of tailored uh, short and I love these they have wide quite tall belt uh, loops it can take a good size width belt through it you put a belt on it stays exactly where you want it to and I just love the cut of it I like the length of it it's perfect and it's so easy to wear just like this I had a lot of times where I was wearing literally this kind of combination so there is another linen shirt that I bought um, from New York and I brought it with me and I loved wearing it I love when you buy things and you really get the use out of them especially for going on holiday and this white linen shirt from Zara which is not in this room I have a feeling it's downstairs but sorry I'm not going downstairs I will insert pictures here so you can see it I wore this linen shirt a lot same reason I love how easy it is it's actually larger size than this one is and that neon green one I prefer to wear these and even t-shirts sometimes because they're just so loose it's like all the air can just come underneath anyway so I loved wearing that white one and yeah that was great that was that saw me through a lot of days in France when I didn't know what to wear and I wanted to wear something really quick and not think about it I reached for this white um, linen shirt from Zara okay so moving on I'm going to show you uh, some things that I got whilst I was there so one of the things I picked up is and in no particular order okay I'm going to show you are these sunglasses and I got these from off-white in Paris love these very simple black glasses a little bit kind of squared off on them. I just liked how simple these are I just like how squared off they are and it kind of balances out uh, a round ish face or even an oval face because they're squared off and I like that I find it's a very kind of universal flattering um, shape of a sunglass so there's these I got and I really really like them hopefully it's focusing yeah so you can see them there <sighs> I don't even know if I'm gonna even show you this, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna sod it, I'm gonna show you in this video. Uh, I wasn't going to because I, get, I do get hate negativity comments. Anything that's luxury priced, not all the time, but sometimes I get like, oh, why are you buying that, blah, 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 blah. And it's like flipping out, as I've said before, so I've, I've earned the right to be able to do these things and get these things. So I want to still be able to share them, whether it's something that's low priced or high priced. So. Hopefully I'll reach through to the people who care about that because that is what I want to show you. I'll come to that in a minute. But one thing I picked up is this stunning dress. Oh my God, this dress is amazing. And the thing is, when I got this dress, Michael was like, oh, you know, I tried it on. Again, it was a random shop in Nice where we were staying and we were just walking past and went oh hold on hold on hold on and i saw this stunning dress sorry again for the the mowing outside but i've got to keep the window open if not i'm going to suffocate <laughs> this amazing dress just oh. roderay anglaise and you know how i feel about that already and this is the sleeve which is full and it's got like this detail on it it's stunning and it's covered buttons and it goes down really deep and that's why I liked it in fact the buttons go yeah the buttons go all the way to here from the top and I love that about it because it means that because there's so much material you're able to break up so much fabric by having this open to show some skin um, I wore you can wear a really pretty like bandeau top over underneath it if you want you can also wear which I did um, a white bikini top to have a white on white look but to make it look intentional and part of the, the style I'll show you here some footage as well as photos of me wearing this dress um, I'm also going to show you the the moment 
that I got this dress because I literally, because it's so big, I tried it on over what I was wearing at the time. I didn't even get changed because you know you just don't want to get changed, you can't be bothered. And it was so big because look at the material, I don't know if it even comes across, but it's absolutely massive. But I love that. Look at it, look at the back. Look at the bottom glaze. Come on, come on, people. Let's leave, right? And the brand is. Uh, Bubbies. I don't know what that. I'm just going to show you here, but it says, God, can you see that? It says Bubbies. I'll write on the screen. B U B Y apostrophe S. That is what that says. So, and there's only one of them. And yeah, I loved it. it was too big. So I actually asked Michael, I said, Do you think it's too big? He goes, Yeah, it's a bit too big. I went, Oh, perfect. Tell me below if you can relate. So the next thing that I brought with me, um, and I loved the fact that I did because I got so much use out of it, were these stand back in amazement these uh linen blend trousers uh from zara these are too large for me and i really wish that they had them in a size smaller but i think at the time that i bought them this was the only size i could get and i was guessing because i was getting it online so i should have really got two i think at the time anyway it doesn't matter they're too big for me but i make them work wide legged uh like a cream off-white linen blend trouser tailored I love that I think it's so chic it just doesn't matter how you wear this this is such an easy for me piece to wear nice side pockets these are classic I could wear this with this shirt as well maybe just not this or just loosely kind of like you know like tuck it in so it looks really effortless. you know what I mean just like oh, just that oh so good so I'm really glad I got these and again I hit the ground running wearing these um, it was just a nice piece to wear when I didn't know what to wear. I would put these on, whether it was just during the day, wearing with like a pair of like flat sandals, or the same, but just wearing, switching to a nicer top and just wearing it with a little bag in the evening for a dinner. So I think this is such a versatile piece in your wardrobe as far as like holidays go and just summer vacations as well. So I was really happy that I got and brought this with me. Oh, so good. Okay, so. I wasn't sure if I should put this in this video, but I think I'm going to because of the reasons that I said earlier. So, um, Hermes, Michael got an appointment at Hermes. Now, we were both trying. For those who don't know, when you're in Paris, uh, you need to apply for a leather appointment if you're looking to get a bag, for example. And the Euro right now and the US dollar are for the first time in approximately 20 years almost one-to-one -one. so that it is currently the lowest price ever if you're say in America to buy anything in Europe or in Paris in particular a lot of designer items are made or are from Paris or from France and so they already automatically are less expensive and that's always been the case when you turn around by that same item here in the US um, the US charges a lot more on top taxes and all kinds of things so it caught and it just retails a lot more than that same item would in Europe and that goes regardless of it, of the whatever the exchange rate rate is it just always is that way but right now is a really unique time at least at the time of making this video and the time we were there it's a one-to-one -one ratio as far as like the US dollars to the euro so it's almost like spending if you bought something that was like 5k euro it's like spending 5,000 US dollars instead of 7,000 or 8,000 US do dollars which is what it used to kind of be we both applied with our separate passports because you have to put that information in and this is the website it's on Hermes this is a picture of the the form that you fill out at the end of the night because you find out that day whether or not you were successful and he got sorry you were unsuccessful to get an appointment because due to the volume of people who applied for this appointment so then I tried and then in the evening I didn't get anything I didn't get a yes or a no so and I was like what does that mean I didn't get anything so next morning I went into the uh, my store for Borg we could watch you walk it from where we were staying we actually stayed in the same hotel that Nuri and True were staying at shout out to you guys and happy engagement congratulations so I walked we walked to the store and I explained to them I said look I applied online yesterday I didn't get a yes or a no so she asked for my name and then she looked it up in her system 
and then she saw that I did apply and she showed me, she said, you did not get an appointment. It shows here that it was unsuccessful. I said, okay, thank you for showing me, but you know, I didn't see that. I didn't get any notification whatsoever. Um, and I said, this has happened to me before where I've tried to make an appointment in other trips and I don't get a yes or a no, I get nothing and I have to come into the store. So anyways, she gave me an appointment because I asked for it and I was, I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. So she gave me an appointment and then Michael, that same day, that same very day, he had already that morning made another appointment uh, request, right? So, and then we went into the store. I got the appointment. His appointment request was already going through in the system, right? So before we arrived at the store. Later that same day in the afternoon, Michael checks his phone. He gets a text saying, congratulations, you have an appointment. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we both had an appointment. We went in because Michael had his appointment first. And Michael knew that I had, I had always wanted my Hermes Kelly in the gold on gold cellier. It's the very first Kelly bag that I got. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep talking through this noise. I've always wanted it in a smaller size, always. I love the bag. It's probably my favorite bag out of all the Hermes bags I own. It was the very first bag that I asked for ever at Hermes in New York. But the reason why I wasn't reaching for it as much as I wanted to was because of the size. It was a size 32. I said to Michael, our anniversary is coming up um, in, next month and I said to him that would be a dream for anniversary gift would be that that bag in the so exact same bag gold on gold cellier with that contrasting white stitch that is just chef's kit I love that I, oh it's quintessential Hermes that particular gold color that leather tan it's like an old leather sa oh I love sorry I just, I'm just going berserk now I know that I will reach for it way more if it's smaller because I just tend to gravitate to smaller bags any brand doesn't matter what it is vintage thrifted doesn't matter I like smaller bags so we went in we saw a male SA and it was his SA, because it was Michael's appointment. Prior to his appointment, he had not bought anything in France. The only thing he had bought was a pair of sneakers um, in February or December um, prior. And right now we're in July. So just for some background information. So we sat down and long story short, because I'm not going to go too much into it, but long story short, we were brought up to the upper level and at the beginning, he he came back because he went away for about fifteen minutes or so, give or take, after we after Michael explained what I was looking for, um, and I was talking to the essay as well a little bit, but Michael did a lot of the talking, and he came back with nothing, and I thought ah oh, I thought so because he was saying to me that the stock was very very low at the moment etc, and to give him some other options I was interested in. Anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I have left. The full story is on my TikTok. So if you want to see, I did it in part one and the part two explaining in much more detail the conversation, exactly how it went. Long story short is, this is what I got. He opened the lid of the box, opened the drawstring, and he said, I hope that you're gonna be okay with this. Um, I'm not sure if this is what you might exactly want, but this is the best I could do. And he pulled out exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I, my, I was like, that was in my brain. It was identical to what I asked for, which is the gold on gold Hermes Kelly Cellier stitch in a size 25. This is, ex this is exactly what I asked for. And he knew it too. I think I'll always be in shock that I've managed to finally get this particular size because that was that's what I've always wanted it's what I wanted back a year and a half ago when I had this in a size 32 so I'm just just, just can't believe it I just can't believe I got the, the exact size I asked for and I literally hit the ground running I think the very same day of the appointment went back to the hotel filmed the unboxing which I put on TikTok and did the part one and part two story on there. And then I just, I took the, I just started wearing it straight away, immediately. So 
it just goes to show that this was, and I said this to myself back then, this was the size I always wanted and I cannot get over it. It is just, it's perfect. It's, oh, oh. I've even worn it like in Paris like this. I'll try and insert some pictures and footage showing me wearing it in Paris. I just could not stop wearing it um, on the shoulder. I even wore it crossbody sometimes. I would wear it in the bend of my arm. I was wearing it handheld. It just, I just kept reaching for this thing over and over and over again. And it's a massive thank you to Michael because he was the one who got it. It was his appointment. And he did, he did most of the talking. And then outside of this, I still had my appointment. And he, at that time, we went, we left Hermes, but Michael wanted to go back because he had two leather bracelets um, from them and they got oil on them. And he wanted to have them like cleaned and repaired and fixed and all that to remove all of that or ask if Hermes could do it. So I said, look, I still have an appointment. Let's go in with my appointment and we'll see if we can, you know, get that sorted. And there was only one other thing from Hermes in terms of a bag that I have always loved. It was one of those things I thought, you know what? I bet you I'll never get it. I'll never get this one ever. But you know what, I'm gonna ask anyway, sod it, because it will be the perfect thing to carry, wearing like crossbody, etc. If I, if I was ever so fortunate, but I don't think I will, but let's just go in anyway. So um, I went in with my appointment, and the thing is, is again, like I said, this was a case of, I bet you I'm not gonna get this. It would be great to have, like if I'm going like for dinners, I just want something very small something that when i'm going out shooting street style when i'm out for hours and hours i always wear something very small crossbody just to hold like business cards uh it's holding like uh, battery chargers my phone you know my cards like for you know like cash and stuff i, I like to wear something very crossbody because i'm hands-free while i'm shooting street style videos or just to wear crossbody bags period because up until now i was always wearing my chanel crossbody you know the one this one that bag I've had for like 15 years now and counting, if not more, and I love that thing to, to pieces. So I went in thinking, we'll talk about Michael's bracelets and then, we'll, which he's had for like, I think he's had them for about a year, and then I'll just ask. But I don't think it's gonna happen. And I actually said that to the essay, I said, I don't think it's gonna happen, but I'm, I'm just gonna ask anyway. Again, remember this is under my appointment name. <sighs> she went away. She went away, she came back empty handed. And I, again, I thought, okay, I understand. I know, cause I've already had appointments before with Hermes throughout the past year to two years where they have said, sorry, we don't have anything. And that's it. You get up and then you leave or whatever, do more shopping with me. So she came over and she said, come with, come with me upstairs. This is in my opinion, to this, again, this is gonna be one of those moments where I'm not gonna be able to believe that this happened. Period, end of story. Um, my birthday is next month, and I toyed with even showing this in this video, because to me, I should just wait until my birthday. This is my early birthday gift, from me to me. I'm gonna show it to you now, I'm a Virgo girl. Shout out to Virgos. A mini Kelly. I I could not believe it, but this was what I asked her for, and that's exactly what I got. I am dead that I got this. It is absolutely the perfect, perfect little crossbody bag. Perfect bag for going out. Perfect bag to carry Fashion Week as well. That's coming up soon, which I'm going to. Actually, yeah, September just to wear with any outfits, dinners, evenings, events, this little thing. This is gonna be my little workhorse. This is absolutely, and I do mean little workhorse. I'm shocked that I got this, truly shocked that I got this because I know how difficult these are to get. And the fact that I was able to get it is ridiculous. It does have a detachable strap, which is in here and it comes with 
that and two drawstring bags. I'll probably do on TikTok like what fits in it because it's one of those things which is quite small. <sighs> right, so I'm not gonna talk too much anymore about those two things because I'm hearing the hate comments as I am speaking and as I am thinking about it. And you know what, I'm like sod it at this point. I can't, I can't do the whole imposter syndrome in my brain anymore. Another thing that I picked up from Hermes, and this was at the same time that I got the Kelly, I went downstairs and looked at the scarves because I am a scarf girl. I'm a scarf hoe. I love wearing scarves. Here's some images of me with my scarves, whether it's on my head, as a bandeau, which is how I love to wear them. The mostly, I usually wear them on my head though, I think actually. Wearing on my head, I do that all the time. I almost wore one just now on my head, but I thought, no, what, I can't be bothered, I just wear a baseball cap. But I love scarves, love, love, love scarves. Whether it's from Hermes, whether it's from vintage shops like Love Day Queen, I love this. Her scarves are amazing. I'll put her Instagram on the screen. I have like about four, I think, three or four of her scarves and I wear them all the time. Instagram, you already know if you follow me on stories, you already are familiar with her and her scarves. Anyway, I picked up from Hermes this one and I thought it was absolutely stunning because it looks like the Zodiac all in. It's got the ball for Taurus, it's got like Sagittarius signs on it, there's like a hair on it, a heron bird. It's like a mixture of astrology as well as like animals, like just a menagerie. And you know what the best part is of the scarf is exact same print it's reversible so it's like getting two scarves for one so it's the identical print so you see where this bear is this red bear when you flip it around it's in exactly the same spot but in a completely different kind of monochromatic color the way they managed to do that I don't know same look at this bird up here with the wings you flip it around it's the exact same placement but in color so it's just the black and white version of the front it's more like an ice blue color there you go you can see a bit better there so i am in shock that this was there because it was the only one and i thought it was beautiful look at, look at how gorgeous that is amazing this i've already did they yeah i've already worn this i actually wore this as, as well i wore this for dinner out with like a pair of trousers what trousers were there? I think they're trousers from the Frankie shop. I'll insert a picture here. We went to Le Train Bleu, which is an amazing uh, restaurant in France. If you've not gone, it's in Paris. Do go, check it out. This, you can see, I talked about on my TikTok as well. So good, so, so good. So while we were in Antibes, I believe it was, I passed by a flea market, an outdoor flea market, and I picked up two beautiful blouses from this street seller. I thought they were so good. She had like a lot of vintage things. And you know me, I'm like a moth to the flame for vintage. So she had this stunning um, display and stall of just lots of cotton pieces, um, reworked vintage. It was just great. I'll show you some footage here so you can see the, the stall and me shopping it. I thought it was so great. So I was just going through and just checking. I thought, I'm gonna find something here. I know I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna find something, I'm gonna find something. So I found these two tops. The thing is, one of the tops I accidentally dropped between buying it and getting to the hotel that evening. And I'm gutted to this day because it was so pretty. All I have is footage of it to show that I did get it. And it was this, so pretty so so gorgeous and i loved it anyway did not even get a chance to wear it i obviously dropped it and i'm so gutted but this one i didn't and this is one of them from her this is the look at the details on it i love the wide straps and just the all over details oh it's so pretty right i love it this this on with a pair of like jeans that's ripped up and stuff or high-waisted jeans or just a pair of tailored trousers Oh, I think this one looks so pretty. So I got this and the price was 40 euro. Stunning, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so good. So anyway, I got this and moment of silence for the one that I lost. So I got this dress um, in New York and I packed it to go with me and I bought it with the intention of just wearing it for like any, any vacation that's like warm, I will wear it for. And because I knew we were going to the south of France, I knew that I was going to wear this. So I picked this up um, before we went and I packed it and I love it. It's by Celia and it is this floor length crochet dress and it is Screams Caribbean Girl, which is me. Could not get over it. I'm originally from St. Lucia, if anyone's new to my channel. 
this, oh my gosh, this worn in St. Lucia. I wore this in Saint-Tropez. No, where did I wear this? I wore this in Nice. I wish I packed it and wore it in Saint-Tropez. I didn't. But I wore it in Nice. And honestly, it's just so good. Oh my gosh. It's, it's a beach cover-up, basically. And I just loved it. It's so good. I'll show you lots of footage here of me in it. I just loved this thing. And it's just a really special thing. I love crochet anyway. If you remember me from my Mexico trip that I did a couple of months ago, I think, something like that, with um, Amazon. And I got that uh, Zara crochet dress. Loved that. I actually wanted to pack it with me and I forgot to. So anyway, it's this dress that I wore in Mexico. I love that dress. So I like, cro I love crochet period because I have a couple of um, thrifted, uh, crochet dresses and to this day actually one of them is from Zara and it's about 10 years old and the other one is uh, I picked up from a vintage shop that's it and I still have those and I've had those for years so crochet is one of my favorite things I get married in a crochet dress that's how much I love them I think it's so pretty before I love the colors of it it feels pure island it's like the Caribbean in a dress just stunning it's stunning on so wore that with like um, a scarf just like a simple bandana kind of scarf um and yeah so good so, ah, so good another piece i packed are these shorts now these are from the frankie shop and it comes with a black belt and i cannot for the life of me find it which is really annoying because it looks so good with the black belt but can i find it though you know what i'm just going to use this for now this is not the belt that it comes with though I'm going on a rant. This is from the Frankie shop and it's too big for me, <laughs> but I got it. It's got front pockets here, you can see right there. And then it comes with its own black belt, which I can't find right now. So hopefully when this place is not so upside down and it is, I will find it. But I'm just showing this for demo demonstration purposes on just how nice it looks with a black belt. And obviously anyone who gets a white short, just put it with a white or black skinny belt. Look at this. Look how nice that looks together. It's so good. So I wore it basically, high-waisted, kind of paper bagged waist here with the belt that it came with. And it looks so good. And you got like, the front pockets here. And see how it looks like just with a sh open shirt and just wear it nice and loose, undone cuffs and just do that. That was kind of the vibe that I had when I was wearing this. I'll show you actually here, me styling it. I think I styled it with, I styled it a few times. That one of my favorites was just doing like a white, black and white look with, um, my white linen Zara blend shirt. Effortless, easy, just a pair of simple sandals and you're good to go. So this was one of the things that I packed with me and I loved having it. So I think, I think that is it. There's probably a couple more things. I just realized my clothing line cargoes. I wore those to the airport and coming back from the airport both ways traveling and I loved them and I wore them whilst I was in France as well. Here they are on me. I styled them with, again, I think I styled them with the scarf, the MS scarf. So I just wore it across like that and I just wore the cargoes whilst I was in France. Um, it was really, really hot over there as well. Um, and I loved wearing those cargoes. You know how much I love those anyway. So it's no surprise. I had to pack those. They're like the most simple thing to pack and go away with when you're traveling. Anyone who owns and bought my cargoes, you know exactly what I mean. When I, when I do a design or any design, I try to do it with the intention of it's something that it can just last and you can get lots of wear out of. And as far as like going away is concerned, they're the perfect thing to travel with. That's always important to see, like when you buy things or, and bring them with you to go on a trip, how much do you actually wear them? Do you know what I mean? Because there's things in my wardrobe that I pack and I don't even touch them when I go away on holiday. It's only when you get to that trip that you go through everything and go, oh, I'm so glad I brought that. Oh, I'm so glad I brought that. And those are the things that you reach for all the time. So those are the things I want to show in this video, combined with what I actually picked up whilst I was there. <laughs> Michael also got something for himself. He got his first ever man bag. He's never had a bag before. So literally, this is the first time in his life that he's got a bag. I have wanted to get him a bag for so long. I've been looking all over the place. Uh, he's very, very particular about bags. And then he ended up finding one at Dior. So his first bag is from Dior. And I'll show you here the pictures of it. 
he loves it to death when he wears it he gets compliments on it it's gorgeous it just fits him perfectly it's just the right size it's flat to his body which is what he wanted uh, and it's got enough style detail in it that he likes so i'm so glad he got it and he got it over there like i said the euro to the us dollar it's just almost neck and neck so this is currently the least expensive time to buy anything that is especially luxury in france it's because of this particular unusual time with the currency exchange so you save literally thousands thousands and thousands if you are able to be in france at this particular time now like i said the vlog is coming on the whole trip um, that's probably going to be i think next week's video i think i'm not sure it depends how much i get done but anyway either way that vlog is going to be coming all right that is it that is the end of my video and i will see you for the next one on friday do not forget episode 29 what everyone is wearing in new york it went up last friday do watch it let me know what you think it's a twist to it it's a bit different to my usual ones but it is still in new york anyway that is it i'll see you next friday i'll see you on tiktok and instagram in between then all right bye